Hey, we are here at our first cabin. This is the one we were probably most interested in originally. You guys, today's a great day! Good morning! We are going to see baby animals with some of our favorite people. Del and, well, Del's not coming. Scratch that. Hannah and Mav. You think you're going to Baby J's house? She yeah. wants to go to Baby J's house. She might get to because after we go see the baby animals, we are going up to Logan or to Bear Lake, Bear Lake, to look at cabins. And they said that they would watch our kids so that we don't have to take them with us because you guys know Palmer. And which one of you thinks it's a good idea to drive two hours in the car with Palmer? so that she cannot touch anything in someone else's home. Mommy's not me. Phone. You Mommy. what? Mommy's phone. Mommy's camera? Mommy's camera. Are you excited to go see Jay and Mav? Yeah. Oh yeah. Them. Yep. So we are on our way. We're so excited. I'm really excited to look at cabins too. So we have a property that we own. It is an investment property in Idaho and we're thinking of switching it. Right now we just have renters. We're considering switching it to a cabin that we do as a VRBO so we can use it, right? Sounds like a good choice. It really does. It sounds like a good choice to me. So that's what our plans are for today. You guys, make sure that you are subscribed because we are going to Las Vegas and we are going to see not one, but two of our favorite YouTube families while we are there. So make sure you guys are subscribed. That's coming up. We're leaving in two days. You guys, are you excited to pet real life dinosaurs? Yes. Dinosaurs. Oh wait, or like... Chickens, <laughs> bunnies. Do you even get to pet it? I'm not sure. Oh, there's up there. You see him? Oh, if you look closely, you can see the millers in their natural habitat. Give big hugs to all of them. Give Jensen a big hug. Where's Jensen and Mav? She's got one there. She's got one there. She's a happy girl. Okay, Peyton's first in. <laughs> no, it's just resting. Just be nice and soft. Okay, give it a, a nice little pet. He's nice. He's nice. See? <laughs> She's like barely brushed if it runs away. Okay, do you uh, want to pet him? Oh, so nice, huh? Oh, so sweet. Okay, my turn. What? Aww. You were scared? Do you love the cow? Yeah. Yeah? All right, go give him a pet, bud. Hello. There you go. Me too. Is that, that it? That quick, huh? All right. That was good. Do you want to pet him on the head? Hummer, pet him on the head. What should we name the cow? Cow is <laughs> What's the cow's name? Move. All right, next cow for Palmer. Pet him on the head. Pet him on the head. Oh, that's his bottom up here. There you go. All right, good. It's so sweet. Are they so nice? <laughs> what do you think, dude? Is he really soft? Really soft. Oh man, oh my gosh. <laughs> Careful, he might bite you. So we are just leaving Animal Days and Bree and Hannah and my mother-in-law were so sweet and decided to keep our kids because I thought it was like a you go, there's like 20 animals, they're all in one pin and you leave. No, this is like an all day event. So I kind of feel bad. <laughs> we were there for maybe an hour, hour and 15 minutes and we were gone. So they are finishing out animal days with their family and then they're gonna go over to Miller's house and we are gonna go look at cabins. So we're almost at the top and it's just been so nice just like chatting with my man. Yep. Chatting about all the things, chatting about how we, want to make a difference in the world. How we gotta live more purposely, just our goals. Glad that he's my ride or die. <laughs> yes. Look at him.
So we are meeting our friend and realtor over here, David. He's fantastic. Awesome. If anybody needs a realtor in Utah, I can hook you up. He really, like he goes above and beyond. I really have been really impressed. So we're meeting David over here, two hours away from our house, probably two and a half from okay. his. Oh, yeah. We're gonna go looking for a cabin. This right here, ladies and gentlemen, is why we want a cabin in Bear Lake. This view, when you come over, so we're at the, what do they call this? Like the crest of the, it's the peak, the peak oh, top. Gosh, and when you enter, oh, so pretty. <laughs> Seriously, you guys, Bear Lake is, they call it the Caribbean of Utah, or the Caribbean of the West. What do they call it? Caribbean of the West. Because it's got like super blue water, the sand is amazing and super far, like it's super shallow. When you're in the mountains, it literally cannot be topped. Bear Lake is life. Oh, I hope you find one. Okay, we are here at our first cabin. This is the one we were probably most interested in originally. Then I decided, okay, so let me just put all my cards on the table. It's hard to decide because I also really want to move forward on our house. So it's hard like figuring out where you can split your resources, but where this would be an investment property and we already have an investment property. Anyways, there's just some juggling going on. This one would be the biggest we're considering. It's a little over 4,000 square foot. It would have seven bedrooms, five baths, and it has 6.5 acres. So it's big. Um, it looks like maybe somebody started it and then ran out of money because it's just been sitting here. 200 days on the market, just halfway done. Maybe not even quite. So I'm interested in so many things. How quickly could they get it done? I can pick all the finishings, but do I want to run out a brand new cabin? And do I need it to be that big? So it's just really hard. Right now we're trying to figure out like what land we would actually own here, what cabins could come up in our way, but I'm gonna show you kind of what where we're looking at. All right, have I mentioned I'm really glad that Palmer's not here? <laughs> Okay, so here is a golf course right over there, which is nice. It's a very very peaceful a little more sagebrushy. I would rather like the trees There's tree area tree area and Like over there. Do you see that more tree area? But this is more sagebrushy and I don't Sagebrush kind of stresses me out ever since my dad's accident. So I don't love it quite as much but we're gonna go ahead and show you the view all right, so it would be a two-car garage. You'd have some room back here for a few toys. To be honest, if it was a rental, I'd probably lock off access to the garage anyways for our personal storage. Come in, this would be like a laundry room, storage area. There are some stairs going up. That looks like that's where they stopped. So to be in all honesty, okay, this would be the front entryway. Here would be a second bedroom on the master floor, which I like. A bathroom, a big gathering area with beautiful windows, kitchen, and then over here is the master suite. So I just don't know that this is the view I want. It has a beautiful big deck and it is a pretty view, but it's hard deciding like, okay, so is this an investment or is this my dream cabin? Because if it's an investment, this view is great. If it's my dream cabin, I might want something a little better and I just, I don't know, but I feel like for what it's listed at, I want it to be my dream. So it would be two bedrooms on this floor, three downstairs with a couple bathrooms, and then upstairs would be two bedrooms, a bathroom and a loft. So you could potentially, like you could house a lot of people here. So the other downside, I feel like I'm only saying downsides. Maybe it's good I'm talking to you guys about this. The other downside is that they cannot have it. Oh, come on, buddy. They cannot have it done until August, which would basically completely miss the peak season of rentals. So I'm kind of like, do we want to, you know what I mean? Like that's like a big commitment to then be able to start renting it out in the worst time of the year to rent it. Okay, we just got in the car. Talk about it. What do you think? It's hard because yeah it's a big chunk of change to it, just be like yeah. we're gonna keep looking but we're not saying no to this one we're just I'm just putting it on hold until we a get lot of info. water yeah a lot of water would have to go under the bridge before this one came to light yeah, yeah. so okay i'm gonna go buckle up this cutie and we are gonna go look at more land i am heartbroken literally literally my heart is broken so we were driving around we found this sign call on it we're like looking i'm going in every window and it's everything i want five six bedrooms i think five bedrooms and then a loft upstairs 
Look at these doors, okay? I, okay, first of all, the deck. I can't even talk fast enough to tell you all of the things. Sorry about the wind. Okay, this huge deck. These are all doors. So like, look in the kitchen. See in this kitchen? You could have this door. Then they have these beautiful front doors. These doors, look at the view. Unreal, the deck wraps all the way around. There's guest space downstairs. A beautiful black fireplace. The railing is so modern. Beautiful view. Giant deck. The master goes out to the deck. Literally, it's perfect and it was a very good deal, I felt like. Sure enough, it's sold. I am so sad. I would have put in an offer on this today, right now, this minute. Like, Literally, my heart is broken. So we're gonna keep driving some more, but I don't know how much more of this my heart can take. So, things that I now realize I want, crazy deck space, love these. And we are saying, we could build this. We, we could build this. It's just a matter of, do we wanna be building a house at the same time? And we really would like to get a cabin before summer because I think that's when we're gonna book it out to make the most of our money. And then we're gonna have to spread that out to do the payments over the winter, right? Yeah. I mean, we can book it some in the winter, but I just really think we wanna get into it before summertime. So, oh, my heart is just broken. It's perfect. <laughs> And poof, we are home. Holy cow, what a fun day. Uh, it was so fun to look at, at cabins in Bear Lake. Um, it really got real as we went around with the realtor, uh, which Dave, dude, you are awesome. I, you were so helpful in everything. Um, it was really fun to just go through, go, go look at a lot of different pro or, uh, properties. I am super, super bummed about that one that we uh, found up there that was ended up being sold. Um, I think we would have probably put an offer on it right then and there. So we just got to keep looking um, and we'll find it. It, just, it feels right. Like uh, why not invest in, in that area and we can have it for our family and for other families. And anyway, it just, it would really be a fun investment. So, um, and we got Vegas coming up so excited uh if you haven't subscribed subscribe now so you don't miss our vegas trip we are actually seeing two youtubing families there uh we're gonna do some collaborations with them so it's gonna be really fun so don't miss out on that and uh anyway thank you guys for watching thanks for coming along and we'll see you next time